Wow, she's such a changed character, and not in the best way possible, but now we're talking about that, we got Mr. Flamingo versus Sandfall. Random Pokemon same too. Yeah, starting off, we're gonna be seeing Sheik versus Shulk. In Smash 4, this uh, matchup was, you know, horrible for Shulk. <laughs> but in this game, because of like, again, Sheik's lackluster uh, uh, damage output and her struggle to kill, it actually could, I actually feel like it is in Shulk's favor nowadays. Yeah, especially the fact that Shulk, uh, previously in the Smash 4, his neutral wasn't the best, but now in Smash Ultimate, with how the potential is with his auto castable aerials, he's able to do so much. And we saw exactly there what was the problem, because that Mr. Flamingo gets all this damage off, but as soon as he says that, it's even up with Shulk barely has to get any hits off. Bro, this is wild. It's actually been 30 seconds. I haven't seen a single art come out. Yeah, this I, is this is new. Yeah, I mean, usually I'm used to seeing Nico. He's like switching from Manolo arts to. Yeah, bro. One. Game starts off. He's already in bust. There we go. The first art of the uh, turn. Oh, 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 oh. oh, he just scooped him up, bro. He, just, he, like, he actually just grabbed the spoon and just let me get a scoop of that. Just flicked him up. He's just like. You want to stay there? Are you sure, my guy? But gets hit up from there 95%. Why do I even say 95%? I'm just like, Sheik ain't going to kill anytime soon <laughs> at this point. Exactly. Like we said, Sheik may have this damage output, but it really does struggle to kill, especially when with uh, Sheik's kind of nerfed uh, kill options. And that's a perfect representation of what Shulk has in the advantage. You saw that he perfectly spaced out the area for the auto cancel, and Sheik went for that grab, but she ain't getting anything from that. 43%, and here comes the auto cancel speed. You know when it's bad, when Shulk reaches that speed, but auto, and he comes, starts running at you with Nairing all over the floor. Mm -hmm. Right now, it looks like uh, Mr. Flamingo is trying to get these uh, up to, like, up air uh, drag downs, but he's not actually getting the full hop up air. Okay, I like the... I like the idea of going for the uh, bouncing fish in case he goes high. Thank you. And, and right onto the Smash Renato, he's looking for an opportunity. Back throw, not gonna oh kill. Oh my god, that almost yeah. that actually almost killed. Yeah, they are actually kill all the potentials, but he's gonna go for the fair as well, trying to get something down and another fair coming off. Sam Paul's actually looking like he's ready to take the second stock. It's like uh, it's like that Twitter post. Who's better at ledge trapping? Is it Schultz? Or is it Robin? And people are just like, it, it's Shulk. It, it's Shulk. Like, what he can do, especially with that Smash Metal online. Oh, my actually, God. Disappeared. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Mr. Flamingo's still in this. He has that stock, but you got to get past the Smash Art. And that's about 10 seconds versus that of, uh, of, you know. Trying not to die. Yeah, yeah. trying not to get hit. Yeah, but as soon as you say that, Smash Metal oh. not even needed. Sandfall. Only 10% is on a second stock. Uh, yeah, didn't really have a way to stop his momentum out there. I'm pretty sure he'd already used his jump. So right now... Sandfall up two whole stocks, and but well, we got some uh, up air loops. Yeah, and, and you wish you could see more of it, but this ain't Joker. You can't get anything. Yeah, we got shield that. art. Uh huh. Yeah, that's the thing you you have to realize against Shulk is when you have that combo or that kill confirm, you have to get it twice because as soon as they see that's happening, bro, that's a quick yellow. Like it's especially the fact where just like there are no such thing as true combos against the Shulk, mm -hmm. and it's gonna force the mango right Run off. Run off air. Yeah, yeah, that's gonna be a two stock coming in for Sandfall. He's looking really. He looked really clean there. And Flamingo, you are right to shake your head because this is not a good matchup for you, mm. my guy. It's just mm -hmm. people are just like every character in this game is viable. Like you can pull something off, but if both if both players know exactly what they're doing, and it's a Sheik versus Shulk matchup, there's going to be like a big gap between those characters. Mm -hmm. Yeah, like we said, Flamingo was Flamingo was doing good. He was getting his damage off. He was looking good in neutral. He just couldn't kill. And when it came time to kill, you saw Sandfall. He was retreating a lot. He was running forward. He was fo forcing the Sheik to approach you. Mm -hmm. And that's exactly what Sheik doesn't want to do. She wants mm -hmm. to bait you into making these unsafe options and then getting a string off. Because exactly. Sheik, the only way to win is to win about 11 neutral exchanges, maybe about that. And the switch coming in right now. Going Ridley. to Ridley. Yeah, you know what? I'm tired of not doing damage. I'm tired of not killing. Let me just get this read. Yeah, and now let me just get these reads. But instead of that, I'll trade out for being combo to infinity because yeah. I am not a heavy character. I am considered. I, I don't know what the art. I don't know why they didn't make him a heavy character. I don't. Bro, it's wild. Samus is a heavier character yeah. than Ridley. That is the funniest thing. Yeah. Like See? imagine. Yeah. yeah. Just imagine like in like Metroid, like Samus just kind of picks up Ridley and <laughs> just kind of carries her off. But speaking of that, FD could be a potentially good pick. Doesn't give any platforms to extend combos mm -hmm. and to get anything off. But for Mingo, saw yeah. at their 899 damage. I'm really surprised that he went to FD and then switched off Sheik. That's usually the stage you want it, you see Sheik's go to. You get those long combos. I'm not sure Ridley has a lot of long combos, but I guess you could suppose that if you can't land, you get a lot more conditioning for the uh, uh, space assault pirate, whatever side B. Uh -huh. But the problem with that is that. 
Mr. Flamingo can do so much damage with the smash attacks, right? Mm -hmm. But if Shulk gets a counter... Holy oh! crap! That's what we're looking for. Yeah, no counter needed right there. Sandfall getting a stock taken just like that. Mr. Flamingo doing a good job. That. He's got another character under his belt, so... Yeah, he knew that down smash could end the lead, but I didn't think he could uh, go that far. What was even more interesting about that is the fact that it stayed spike him. He actually could have teched and lived. But probably didn't expect that. I don't think any of us were expecting Definitely that. Definitely not. I did, like, I saw him put it out. I didn't think it was going to hit. Yeah, so he's going to get his stock taken there, trying to get fallen out. But Mr. Flamingo, he's got to deal with that smash from Alvar. He's able to get back, but what's the ledge trap option? Yeah, a lot of Ridleys will like to do that jump side B from stage because people are just like, brain dead, let me let me go for the ledge trap. It'll catch people off guard, but not against Shulk Yeah, They're always putting out that fair to cover a lot of options. It's like uh, when you just stand in place and air a speed Monado, and they just <laughs> can't get around it. That's exactly what's happening right there. But Mr. Flamingo did a really good job taking that first stock. And 45%, 58% to, to go off of. He's definitely got, he yeah, definitely has a plan. It just right now, does Sandfall get that karma string off to even it up? Mm hmm. And Sandfall's playing it slow, but Buster already slowly helping him bring it back. Almost runs into that F, F smash. And perfectly spaced out back air as well. That's like the threat with Shulk. All of his aerials are so good, but the edge guard coming in, he's kept his jump thankfully, so he's able to recover. Just by, and also remember, Ridley's recovery is exploitable by using Shulk's uh, counter off stage, so he's got to be careful of that. Mm -hmm. Oh, barely, wait, barely doesn't outspace it yet. Yeah, that up B has so much knockback. Wait a minute, that killed. And he what actually, a spot dodge. Yeah, spot dodge to avoid that beam to the face. Ridley's doing a really good job. Mr. Flamingo, he's got a little bit of rage to work with. If he can run away with the stock, that'll be really good. And oh. he goes, <laughs> goes for a down B in the wrong direction. We're going for it again. We're going to see his spike. No, just barely misses it. Yeah, he's going to miss out on that opportunity. Trying to use the neutral special as well, and he's in there once more. That's where I want to see a lot more from Ridley, is using that Nair. Sure, like, you're, the worst worst comes worst, you trade with Ariel. But when you have the advantage, that's definitely what you want to save. Mm -hmm. Yep, side B safely passed just to avoid it. Tries to go for the f to call him out again, but not going to hit. Flamingo's still looking good. He's got He's slowly building up the damage, and if he plays his cards right, he will be able to take this game too. Doing a really good job right now. He's got a four stock. He's going for these hard reads on these F smashes so far. Now we're getting oh, another parry. great parry coming in. Mr. Flamingo doing a really good job controlling it. He's trying to try to read it, but I really don't like that idea going for the F smash. He was in the corner right there. You would have liked to see him go for the side B. That would have covered so many options. Unable to find anything, and he just got. It's when you feel yourself a little too much, you start going for these extremely hard reads, and that's when you start getting punished. And you don't want to do it against Shulk, who can rack up so much damage really fast. Yeah, you don't want to let Shulk into the advantage state, because then you just feel so trapped. And especially Ridley, who's got a big model, and this event is something that oh. people don't want to talk about. And drags him off with a great switch to jump. He's able to make it back just in time, so 39% only on Flamingo. You know, like I said, Flamingo, I'd like to see him not go for a lot of these uh, smash attack oh, no. reads. Are you up B? Oh, no! He, he had out. it. He had the idea. He fell out. Was he, in, was he in speed? Yeah, uh, he, was he in jump or he speed? He was in speed, Monado. That's so weird. Because I know in jump, like, it makes it really difficult to do the up B, but he had the right idea, unfortunately. That was the, that was the clip of the century. And that, then Mr. Nintendo said... You're going to fall out of that. We looking like Ken Shoryuken <laughs> falling out of that up special. My goodness. That definitely feels bad, but he was already losing it. He went for the all or nothing, unfortunately. He uh, he ended up with nothing. Flamingo's going to take that second game, so we're going to game three now. But a much, a much, hmm, it was way better in his favor. Sure, he got, he, there were times where he got way too greedy mm -hmm. for a kill, and he got punished because of it. And sure, when that momentum started rolling, it hit him hard in the face. Exactly. We're going to be going to Battlefield Guar Plains. He only, he only stays a counter pick as a Shulk main. Yeah, it's the only really, it's the only really thing you can do. Snake. But Bro, we got the three character switch. I'm with this guy. I, I, I know, man. You, they, they can't counter pick you if you don't know what character you're going to pick. Well, who are you going to go? I don't know. Let's see what happens. <laughs> Good question. Oh, double oh, switch? Oh. <laughs> All right, so we're going to be seeing Snake Shulk now. Uh -huh. I know this is another matchup that, like, Nico and other Shulk means are complaining about. It's a hard matchup for them. You have that long sword, and Snake is always pulling out a grenade, so you could blow yourself up. But, you know, let's see what you can do. Yeah, doing the, well, he can probably do the best as he can. He's been controlling this match super well. Sandfall, I'm surprised to see, like, minimal usage of his Monado arts. Like, yeah, like we were saying earlier, the first match took him a whole 30 seconds where every other Shulk would have literally flipped through every art. Yeah. 
like, it's like Pokemon cards right now. You just throw them out left and right, and right now already forcing onto the jump Monado. I'm surprised to see that Shanful doesn't go speedable. Like, as soon as I say that he goes for it, he'd try to find his way inside, but surprisingly enough, it seems that Snake's aerials are beating out Sandfalls. I, I don't know what this counter pick was, but it is working out. Mr. Flamingo didn't even choose this stage or this music, but it looks like it's powering him up. This, look, this is looking like Snake's montage right now coming in. We got a little bit of music coming in. Right now, we're seeing a, a platform campaign coming out right now. He needs to do this because he needs to respect the fact that Shulk's aerials can roll him right over. Snake disadvantage, as many as people think, it's actually not, it's actually pretty bad. Mm -hmm. I, yeah, like we were saying, I like this uh, play style that Mr. Flamingo is going for. He was throwing out a lot of projectiles. He was just camping them out, and just letting uh, the fact that Sam Falls throwing out like a lot of aerials. He's putting grenades where he would be later, so he would just hit himself and take damage. Mm -hmm. And also, he tries to go for the reread there. You might as well at this percent at 160. He caught yep. it out using the up tilt. Sandfall. Only 60%. Flamingo's looking good. Sandfall is playing a little too respectful of Snake's uh, Snake's area. He's letting him set up. And I understand that like you want to put some respect on Snake, but you can't be just throwing things out like that, especially when you have a sword that big. I'd like to see a lot more just Tomahawk punishes. And when you're throwing out the sword against Snake, who's got a grenade right next to him, you have to stop throwing them out because you're just taking free damage. Yeah, if he's going to be playing this play style while he runs up, grenades and shields, that, that's just a free four throw for you. He needs to start tomahawking, like you said, to try and make something up, because right now he's off stage, and here comes the ledge trap. You thought that, was, that was so many things. I don't. If you thought Shulk's ledge trap was scary... Welcome to Snake's saying, World. Yeah. Welcome to Snake's World, honestly. And he's going for these hard reads. The down smash is going to catch him out for a little more. Fair's not going to take it, though. Yeah, great air dodge oh, What a parry. Yeah, if there's something we're starting to see from Mr. Flamingo, his carries are on point. But well, he actually he actually teleported with that speed art just to get that dash attack. Uh -huh, and here it comes back throw. He went for the hard reason that down smash forcing him off stage, but here comes the Buster Art. Sandfall needs to get something done if he wants a chance. Mm -hmm. He is in the Buster Art. That is the... Ooh. Unfortunately, getting clipped by that mortar. Like I was going to say, uh, what's it called? Buster Art was the uh, art to bring it back and get that damage in. It was looking even, but now you have a big hill to go through. And this is exactly what Snake wants. Once you have the advantage, once you have that stock lead, it's so hard to bring it back because Snake's sitting in the corner. He doesn't even, he's not even paying attention to what you're doing. He's just throwing things out, and then you're getting hit. Yeah, because most of the time you want to look at your opponent. But Snake's just like, I'm going to throw these grenades out. I'm going to keep throwing out these projectiles over and over again because I know that you keep just throwing out these aerials mindlessly. That's like the sword fighter effect when you keep throwing out these aerials over and over again. They just don't work out. And especially against Mr. Flamingo, who's got a perfect understanding. And these grab chains, we're looking like melee right now. But right now, yeah, Flamingo's he's playing his own game. He, doesn't even re he didn't even remember Sandfall was there. He was throwing it out. He was just, oh, there's someone else here? He's just like, hey, remember game one? You absolutely destroyed me. That's yeah, feeling like game that, number three. Not that anymore. Yeah. yeah. So Mr. Flamingo gonna take that two one. Went the chic. Didn't really work out. 